Um, thank you, Mr. Shea, for your nomination for this new spit and follow fad. Uh, very much enjoyed your banana wrap. Keep it a peel. So you've asked me to write about koalas. So here is my dedication. Actually, I'd like to dedicate this to Mel, my temporarily lost but never forgotten beanbag koala. Mr. Akshay Sharma, the chameleon of karma, has asked me to talk several shades of koala. The Austra laid back, drain bold marsupials, the not so ostentatious bear chills. They get most of their leisurely thrills from shrub hugging, from hub shrugging. So I was thinking of all their grey grey slinking, 90% eyelid sway sway blinking, at 50% of the pace. No wonder they rarely sport a wake face. They won't be soon winning any gala race, unless there's one for sun sleeping in a small space, or for keeping hold of things in their grasp, in their cosy compact clasp, in their charming locket arm brace, a prism of zen, a triangle of oneness amidst they, those and them. They're like fluffy little mugs with their fuzzy muzzy hugs, a sluggish pattern energy, a koala, encasing soft heart synergy, a mandala, platformed on a slanted trunk, diagonally slunked, like they've smoked all the skunk, plunked on the wonk of limbo, with all their limbs akimbo. Not ideal game players, with their, how do you say, uh, clam, idiots be putting wrong food in the zoo dishes. Koala sure ain't keen on the shellfishes, but they're not usual found in an enclosure, and definitely never in Nova Scotia. The Aussie bears on a branch in their Shambhala, the koala. Hung on a rung, a eucalyptus scala, REM dreams about the stems in Guatemala. Flomo slow alas in solo motion, languid sorcerers casting the slow joey potions, embracing Mother Earth with all of their girth. Personally, I beam on the in and outside as one of their pride. If these bears were in the circus, they'd be the pinnacle tightrope workers, or koalified corded cliff climbers. Vascolactos Kinareos would be the calmest church bell chimers. And so flows to the close of this rhyme, as my claws are slowly showing their spines. And now, I'm gonna go hug a tree, like a smug koala hippie, to link them bears with long locks of hair. Absurd. And I've been here word. Next, I nominate Matthew Lloyd to spit some bars on the theme of the Backstreet Boys. I'm really looking forward to what you have to come up with this. And sometimes your hair looks a lot like a boy band. I mean, the other day you, you, you had amazing, amazing parallels with Peter Andre. Um, I apologise for that. That's, I don't know, is that rude? Do you like him? I don't know. I did hear a story about him once. Apparently he got his... Muscles from his buttocks put in his chest to make him look more tonk, but um, that's completely irrelevant. But thanks. Good luck. Spit and follow.